One of the things that I, I, I've got, again, I've, I've had a, the pleasure of a few training sessions, which you've run down at Box to Burn um, in, in Chelmsford in Essex. And one of the things that you start your session saying is, one thing I ask of you is that you work hard. And you say, I, I don't care whether you're, you're brand new, whether you've been doing boxing for a long time or not. You say, all I ask of you is to work hard. That's it. You've got to give everything, mate. Everything. Success, well, there's a little saying that I see, and it's, it's success is something that's earned, but the rent is due every fucking day. And it is, you know, every day, unless you're even on your worst days, yeah, if you've not put it's only a worst day if there's no even like even push on your mind. If you sat there and took yesterday as a better day than that day, and I mean down to the littlest of things of. Simple things like if you ain't picked up the dog crap in your garden that day, right? You didn't do that yesterday, but the next day, if you don't drive yourself up and go and do it, you're slipping backwards. It's never a forward motion. And mm. I know that's people probably thinking, what's he talking about? Think about it. Yeah, you get up, you've not driven, you're not going, right, I've got to go and do that. No matter what, you might not fancy it, it's cold outside, it's raining, whatever. It's got to be done. And then that will put that is better than yesterday. You've achieved more than just that, the smallest amount. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's that compound effect. So I, I like, so you have that attitude that every day you're getting up and you're attacking the day, regardless of emotions. Now, let, let's let, on, on emotions. Let's talk about it, right? So you're you're going into these the, these environments, right? As a trained professional, I've, I've, you've had some horrific gashes to the face. I've seen some of them, and and people that no doubt want to see you on Instagram. So, what what is your Instagram, by the way, for people that might want to follow you on? And... Team already, that there. Well, that's team, actually, team already. Team already is our, our, our company. Team already, and the the the, the people that are thinking about this. I mean, when you're going into and you're going to have a fight, do you feel fear? Everybody feels nerves and fear. Well, otherwise, you, like you, you're not right up, as in you're not right up the correct way. You know, if you don't, if you're not fearful of something, it means you're 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 sort of uh, you're content with something. And if you're content with something, it means you're lazy. Yeah, being content is at ease. When you're going into a, a a moment of violence, that is not a moment to be eased. Yeah, you've got someone that wants to hurt you. Yeah, basically, the way I've always looked at, it, I teach myself is. Their great night, yeah, their night where all their friends and family goes, yeah, that was great, their hands being raised, you know, you're the man, is your bad night. Yeah, your bad night where everyone's feeling sorry, but you could be in hospital with your injuries. So you can never be that second best world. Do you get what I mean? You can never be someone's reason to be good. You're good, you know, and repeat that mindset, repeat that mindset. Knowing your training, the way I do is, in that hour before fight, or whatever, maybe the day before fight, Little butterflies flick up in your stomach. You start getting that dry throat. You think, fuck, right, right, it's fight time now. It's all down to this. I repeat every day of my camp in my head. Every single session I've done, Will, in my head, I watch myself. Watch my Instagram stories that I replay. I watch it, I watch it, I watch it. After about 30, 40 minutes of that, I sit back and I think, right, the last eight weeks or whatever, could I have done one thing harder? And if the answer is no, Will, I ain't scared of nothing because no one or nothing could have got me better. And if I go in that ring, even if I trip out, I trip over, knock myself out and he wins, it's written in the stars because there's nothing in this whole world or life that could prepare me better. I am at my best and at my strongest, fittest, ready to do battle. And if I fail that, I can't be angry about it. I can't, this is... I, in a funny sort of way, well, I have no fear of losing, which makes me a right dangerous opponent. It really does. And that's why I give everything. You know, all the training, every day by day thing, that's fighting demons in here, mate. That's keeping me in the right place. Now, when I fight, that is it. I throw every care in the world out of that window. For that six minutes, my life's on the line, Will. And there is no nothing more that makes your soul more alive you know there is nothing more so so just to, i just want to make sure on something saying so you're saying that the reason that you have no fear of losing is because you know that when you walk into that ring there's nothing more you could have nothing. given because nothing. you'd emptied the tank Everything. eight weeks or whatever it is that totally. you're in camp. totally as long as there's no corners cut will and there's no stones unturned 
There's nothing you can do. That man could always be better than you, he, naturally. He could be more, you know, physically better than you, which means he's gifted, he's faster, which means it's written in the stars what's going to happen. Yeah, if you've tried as hard as you can, there's no shame in losing. You can find the full episodes of the Make It Happen with Will Polston podcast here on YouTube, on iTunes, Spotify, and all other major podcast platforms. 